guys welcome back okay so today we're gonna be playing around in this ColourPop palette it's the whatever palette and I don't know I'm thinking this is from one of their fall collections but you guys know they drop every other day so I'm not sure what collection this is <laughs> but it's the whatever eyeshadow palette it's kind of based around like a school and classroom theme which is really really cute I got pulled in by the beautiful bur burgundy tones as well as the gorgeous gold shimmery tones. So yeah, this is what we're gonna play with today. So I'm starting out with some of my e.l.f. Lock On Liner and Brow Pomade. And I'm just using this to basically draw on some brows like I always do. <laughs> and I'm just trying to brush it into my brow hairs and make it look as neat as possible. I am using some of my Wet n Wild concealer. I use the shade Dark Cocoa around my brows just to clean them up even more. I like this shade because it's kind of close to my skin tone. It's not too super duper bright, so it's very easy for me to cover it up with my foundation. And it works really nice to clean up my eyebrows, so I pretty much use this all the time. Now, I forgot to do my serum and moisturizer before I put on my brows today, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm using my Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. I love this stuff, you guys. It is really, really nice, and it feels really good on my skin. And to moisturize, I'm using my Touch and Soul. This is the Glassy Skin Balm. I really like this as well. It's called Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm. I got both of these in a monthly subscription box and these are two products that I am very, very glad that I got because, you know, they're not cheap. They work really, really well and I'm getting some good use out of them. <laughs> I just love using them. So I'll probably repurchase these actually. Now to set my lids today, I'm going to be using my Too Faced, and this is the Born This Way Concealer. I've been using this ever since I bought it. I like it as an eyeshadow base. Um, it's not too tacky, it's not too dry, and I do like the shade of it, so that's pretty much what I've been using. So I decided to go ahead and do some swatches before I got started because I wanted to see how these shadows would swatch and kind of get a feel for what shades I wanted to use. As you can see, uh, the swatches are okay. It's your typical ColourPop formula, nothing fancy, nothing remarkable. With ColourPop shadows, you can build them up to the shade that's in the pan, but they do take a little building up. The shimmer shadows are gorgeous. So I'm starting out with the shade Copycat. It's just a really, really light kind of flesh tone matte shade. And I'm placing that just on my brow bone, basically to set my brow bone, but also give me a nice shadow to blend the others into. Now for my crease work, I'm gonna use the shade Maybe Later. This color is very, very pretty, but just like most ColourPop shadows, it does take some building up. As you will see, as I'm going in with this shadow, I'm definitely having to build it up quite a bit in order to get it to the same color that it is in the pan. It's taken me a little while to get there. Now, if I used a white base, I would have gotten there a lot sooner, but I don't always like to use a white base on my lid. I kind of like to see how the shadows will perform, you know, just with a base that's kind of close to my skin tone. So that's what I'm doing here, just building it up. And as you can see, it's building up very nicely, but I'm definitely having to go into the pan. Next, I'm gonna use this dark shade, Miss Bright Side. <laughs> now, this shadow is pigmented, okay? It is pigmented. I did not have to go in as much with this shadow as I did with the um, one that's in my crease. As you can see, it's building up very nicely. It's a beautiful, deep, rich burgundy shade. And I was kind of trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do right here. <laughs> I'm like, do I want to do a halo? What do I want to do? So yeah, I did decide to go ahead and work on a halo eye. So I'm just leaving the inner and outer corners nice and deep. 
but I'm just taking a small amount of that shadow and blending it throughout my crease just to kind of make sure that I have a nice amount of depth in my crease area. And I'm going back into maybe later, which is that lighter shade and just kind of blending out the edges to make sure that my lid looks nice and blended. Although there wasn't a lot of fallout, I was a little bit messy when applying my shadows. So I wanted to clean up the outer corners because I know I wanna do a wing liner today. Now for my lid, I'm definitely going into this shade Not Okay. This is one of the shades that really made me buy this palette. It's a really pretty kind of, I don't know, bronzy orange shimmer shadow. It's so pretty. Honestly, I think this is one of the most pretty shadows in the palette. I didn't spray my brush when laying this on my lid. I wanted to see how it would apply dry. And as you can see, it's building up very nicely with a dry brush and not spraying at all. Very, very pretty, bold, vibrant color. And I think it looks gorgeous with these other shadows that are on my lid. So you can see here how that shadow is looking. Now I'm just going back into maybe later because I wanna blend out the edges of that shimmer shadow like I often do, just to kind of make the halo eye portion blend better into the deeper corners. Now I wanted to add a little bit of extra pop, so I'm going into the shade Tardy. Now this shade is the Super, so Super Shock Shadow in this palette. If you're familiar with ColourPop Su Super Shock Shadows, <laughs> if I can say that, you know that they have kind of like that gummy, putty type um, feel to them. So I'm just using my finger to tap that right on top of that other shadow. Now I'm going in with my NYX Black Matte Liquid Liner. And like I said, I wanted to create a pretty bold wing today. So that's what I'm going in and doing now before I move on with my face. And just in case you're curious, this NYX liner is the bomb. <laughs> I love this liner. Nice, easy to use applicator also. Okay, for foundation today, you guys, we are using our Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. This foundation is the bomb as well. If you haven't tried it out, I would suggest you try it because it works. Honestly, in my opinion, it works for a lot of people with a lot of different skin types. But I'm just using one of my Juvia's Place foundation brushes to blend this in on my face. Juvia's Place has some really nice brushes, you guys. And when you can get them on sale during their 40% off sales, you can really, really rack up with these brushes because they are very nice quality brushes. Now for concealer, well, really I'm going in for brightening because I don't have a lot of concealing to do with this foundation because it is a very good coverage. But I'm using my CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. And this one is in the shade, I think it's Deep Caramel, Dark Caramel, <laughs> one of those. But I'm really using it to highlight around my face because like I said, I don't need too much concealing with this foundation and I did wanna highlight a little bit today. And as you can see, this concealer is really, really nice. I can't say it's my favorite. Right now, my favorite is the Juvia's Place, but this concealer, you guys, it is not bad at all. It conceals very nicely, excellent coverage, blends out very, very smooth. As you can see, I like it a lot. Now to set this concealer in place, I'm going to be using my Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I use the shade Golden Bronze. Right now, this is my favorite loose powder for highlighting um, or setting my highlighted areas. Oh my gosh, you guys, this powder is the bomb. It's worth every penny too. It's not cheap, but it's worth it, okay? 
Now to set the rest of my face in place, I'm going to be using this Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder. And I use the shade Spiced Rum, just in case you're curious about what shade I use. It's Spiced Rum. And for my bronzer, I'm going in with my Hoola Bronzer, and this one is the Toasted. This bronzer is very nice. It's not too overpowering. Very easy to use, easy to build up, and it just gives you that nice <laughs> toasted look. Now for blush today, I'm using one of my NYX. This is their new Sweet Cheeks blushes. I use the matte ones. I only like matte blushes, to be honest with you. This one is in the color Red Riot. And for highlight, I'm using my Revolution Pro Supreme Highlighter. And this one says Supreme Highlighter Metal. I'm using shade number three. And as you can see, it just gives a really nice, beautiful, soft highlight. I love this highlighter. It is so bomb. You can build it up to be very, very bright, as you can see. Or you can kind of, you know, blend it out and it just gives you a nice glow that glow from within look. So I'm using that on my brow bone as well. And now I can go ahead and move back to these eyes. So for my lower lash line, I'm going to smoke that out with Mrs. Bright Side, the darkest shade in the palette. And I'm just using a flat blending brush just to kind of blend that out or buff that out on my lower lash line. And for my inner corner, I'm going back into that beautiful bronzy orange shade, not okay. Spraying my brush and using that to brighten up that inner corner. I don't know what it is about this shadow, you guys. I just love that bronzy orange color. I love it, it's gorgeous. So now I'm going in with my Thrive Cosmetics. Y'all know I'm still working on this. I've been working on this, <laughs> this mascara for quite a while. Now when I was putting on my mascara, I noticed that it looked like my shimmer has started to fade on my lid. So I just went back in and kind of added a bit of that back onto my lid. I don't know if it was because my eyelids were getting oily or something, or if maybe I should have added more of a base before I put down the shimmers for my halo eye, but I just noticed that and wanted to you know, let you guys know that that shimmer did kind of start to fade even before I finished doing my makeup. So not too happy about that. But as you can see, the colors are just really, really pretty, really gorgeous, but you might wanna be careful of that, the shimmers fading if your lids are a little bit oily. So for lips today, we're doing our ColourPop Ellery Lip Liner. Y'all know this is my favorite lip liner of all time. And <laughs> to fill in my lips, I'm using my Dose of Color lipstick that I just got in my monthly subscription box. This is in the color Date Night. Beautiful, beautiful red shade. I really, really like the Dose of Colors formula. It's comfortable and it is really pretty. So this is the look with this ColourPop whatever palette, you guys. Just first impression. I mean, it's okay. It's definitely not a palette that I would say is just like, amazing or you have to get it you have to pick it up if you like these colors then you know i'd say go ahead and grab it it's not too bad do i think it's worth 18 bucks not really but i know with them adding the glitters and super shock shadows that the prices are increasing so those are just my thoughts on this palette thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and i will see you on my next video toodles